The following is a special presentation of Miami All Access powered by the Miami University Bookstore. Not just a bookstore, the bookstore. Hi, this is Kelsey Thomas with Miami All Access. Baseball season is now in full swing and the draft is right around the corner. I had the chance to talk with head coach Dan Simons about his draft experience. Simons was drafted in the eighth round by the Baltimore Orioles in 1987. He takes his knowledge from the college and professional levels and passes it on to his players. Um, you know, just to give you an idea of, of what happens with the draft, you can be drafted uh, after you graduate high school or a senior in high school. Uh, you, if you go to a junior college, you can be drafted either after your first year or your second year. And then uh, once you enter a four-year school, uh, you have to wait until your junior year or unless you're 21 years old. Freshman Nate Williams and junior Ryan Curl are the two Red Hawks that were drafted out of high school. Both have been recovering from injuries as Williams is redshirting this year and Curl is coming off a couple injuries. Both show great promise. First, I really wasn't talking to any teams at all. And then my senior year, uh, we actually had a kid that drafted in the eighth round. So a bunch of scouts were out to see him and I just had been playing a lot. and. They liked me, so they came up to me after the game and like they would give me their info and stuff. And then they would just call at random times and just kind of talk to you about how the season's going and stuff. And then draft day came and just got drafted pretty much. Um, I had a pitching coach that I worked with for quite some time and he was kind of quote unquote my mentor type thing and he was just kind of helping me you know, weigh out the pros and cons of college and signing and whatnot. And he was, he was actually probably the biggest influence besides my parents in the decision. I already signed with Miami my senior year. More pro scouts started talking to me and started, like, mentioning like the draft process and see how that went. And like the draft day came around and I had a baseball game actually that day, and I ended up leaving my phone on the table on the kitchen counter. And so my parents had to like call my best friend that I was riding to the game with, and I found out that way. It was actually wasn't too hard of a decision for me, because of the fact like I already talked to my parents about it before even draft day came around. Talked about like what I wanted to do with my life and like how to go out, go about like if I did get drafted or not. So it made my decision a lot easier than most players, I should say. Like, I want to succeed no matter what's going on. Like. It doesn't bother me that there's going to scouts can be there because even freshman year we had kids on our team that got drafted. So like in college every single year there's scouts in the stands. So it really doesn't bother you that much. You know our approach and a lot of ways that we handle our players. I, I kind of cut my teeth in professional baseball and spending a number of years in player development with the Orioles, with the uh, Chicago Cubs, and the San Diego Padres. So. A lot of what we do is to kind of try to get guys that are uh, draftable out of high school that, that have the skill set and really try to develop those uh, talents once they're here. Um, we do our best to teach them, um, you know, a lot of ways how to handle themselves, how to mentally approach the game. Uh, you know, while we develop their physical skills, we also try to develop their mental skills as well. I think they're actually, it seems to be college, seems to be the way a lot of organizations are going now. I, I think you're seeing a lot more kids taken out of college than out of high school. I think you'll see kids at the higher rounds taken out of high school um, that more kind of like the blue chip or sure bets. Um, so I think that's definitely a change. I think more and more kids now that are drafted out of high school are electing to go to college, which I don't think you saw that as much as like when I was coming out of high school and out of college, you saw a lot more kids out of high school signing. And I think it's very appealing now for kids, first of all, the, the main reason to get an education, but also the experience. I, I really believe that the best time you'll ever have playing in the game is at the amateur level. Once you get into professional baseball, it becomes so much more of a business. And you're, you know, the main goal is to, is to get to the big leagues. Well, I think we have a couple guys. You know, I really do. I think there's uh, some people uh, right now on uh, several of our juniors right now. I think there's a couple seniors right now that are opening up some eyes. Um, so it's going to be very, very interesting come June how it all plays out. But um, I think there's guys very, very worthy of playing at the next level 